guys so that is my monthly budget you guys see the numbers <sighs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mercedes. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're returning, as always, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into the video, I have a lot of new subscribers. I have a lot of people who've just watched my channel and they're not returning subscribers. So I just want to introduce myself, let you guys know who I am really quick. So I consider myself a lifestyle content creator. I share my daily life on YouTube from being a single mom to a nine-year-old Malaya. You'll hear me mention her, you'll see her in the vlogs. I also share my journey being a homeowner, my finances, being a budgeter, but also loving to live life. So although I like to budget and I like to be smart with my finances, I also still enjoy living life and doing things. So I hope you guys stick around, watch a few more videos and become a loyal subscriber to my channel. With that said, in today's video, we're gonna be doing our October monthly reset. I cannot believe it's already October. Like, y'all, this year is almost over. Now we really gotta get serious. I want to go hard in this last quarter. Water, go hard or go home. First, before we get into our October goals, let's go ahead and reflect on September. So my September goals go in my planner. Don't mind my nails, y'all. I'm trying to get these nails off. So for my personal goals, I wanted to read a new book. I wanted to purchase a new Bible and I wanted to organize one room in my house every week. And I wanted to date myself. So for my personal goals, I was only able to accomplish one of those goals. And that was reading. This month, I did amazing in the reading category. Not only did I read one book, I actually read a total of 13 books this month. And I'm so proud of myself. Like I didn't realize how much I missed reading until... The month of September came and I was just <laughs> fully invested in reading and with my transition from being off of social media like Instagram and Facebook I needed to occupy my time so I did read the book of the month which was Ace of Spades I love that book y'all that book was amazing if you have not read that book I need y'all to go and get it and read it because the plot, the mystery, the thrill, it was there. <laughs> so on top of that, I did read some other books for the month of September. I did pretty well. So I'm proud of myself. When it comes to my health goals, they were daily walking, no soda, take my vitamins daily. So daily walking, yes. Take my vitamins daily, yes. No soda. I did not do that well and coming from August I did great because August it was OD with the soda but I still had soda in the month of September so I just put that I did not meet that goal. So my finance goals was to weekly budget and to stay on budget. I was able to stay on budget but I did not fully <laughs> weekly budget. Like the first two weeks I was going strong and then after that I just I was like, this is not working. And I just didn't do it. My business goal, so business for me is YouTube. I do try to treat this as a business, but I wanted to upload two videos a week. I wanted to upload two short videos a week. Uh, no, two short videos for the month, I'm sorry. And then I wanted to reach 22,000 subscribers and increase my watch time hours. So, drum roll. You guys, I was able to reach 22,000 subscribers. So thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate it, you guys. Y'all just don't know. Like your girl was stuck at 20, 21,000 subscribers for a long time. So for the month of September, it was not only my biggest gain in subscribers, but it was also my biggest gain in my watch time hours. All of, Everything was in green everything thanks to you guys because without y'all none of this would be possible 
so i am super excited about that yeah i actually gained like 260 subscribers this month alone which is rare because i normally only get like 60 subscribers a month at most probably 100 subscribers i was like wait y'all showing out and not only that when you set goals god hears you you know don't ever think that he does not hear you and don't ever like try to doubt yourself and that just september just proved that to me like stop doubting yourself girl stop being scared to set those goals because you think they're too big nothing's too big for god okay so i also increased my watch time hours i increased them about by about six to six hundred to seven hundred which is good i'm still very low and that's just because a lot of people who watch my channel don't come back to my channel i know they don't know what they're missing <laughs> no just kidding yes yeah, so they'll watch like one video but they won't subscribe or they will subscribe they just won't watch another video so my watch time hours are pretty low so i guess i want to focus on that for october but we'll get into that once we get into our goals so those are my September goals. That's how I did in the month of September. I'm proud of myself. I think I did okay, you know. Of course, in this last quarter, I want to challenge myself to meet every single goal that I set. But, you know, life be life is. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into our October goals. So I'm not gonna lie, you guys. My desk, this, <laughs> my desk is a mess. Like I should be ashamed of myself because what is going on? So let's go to the month of October, and we're gonna come to this page in my planner, and we're gonna get our goals written down. I'm just going to find some stickers. I got this Happy Planner sticker book and since we are officially in the pumpkin spirit we're going to take some of these stickers and decorate my boat so here are my goals we have personal we have health and we have finance and business so for the month of october for my personal goals i want to read 10 books i know crazy right but i think i can do it i want to develop a productive and consistent daily routine because my routine it just be all over the place i want something consistent for these this last quarter and just really go hard at it and stick to it i want to keep my home clutter free because i tend to get a lot of junk and i just don't know where it comes from sometimes and it just piles up and becomes overwhelming and then i just want to spend time alone take time for me focus on me you know have some me time because i tend to neglect myself I'm not gonna lie my health i want to improve my eating habits sometimes i eat terrible sometimes i don't eat at all like it's bad so i just want to develop better eating habits i want to go outside and i want to go to bed by 9 30 p.m every single day so that i can have a good start to every morning my finance goes i want to pay an extra 200 dollars towards my debt i want to save extra income so any extra income i want to save it and then of course i want to bring in extra income so in order to save it i gotta bring in some extra income right so those are my finance goals and then for my business goals which include my youtube I want to get to 22,500 subscribers. So right now I'm at about 22,230 subscribers and I want to get to 22,500. That is way more intense than last month's goal, but I think I can do it. I want to challenge myself a little more this month. And then I want to research subscriber retention. So just gain some knowledge on how to not only gain subscribers, but how to maintain subscribers so keep subscribers coming back to my channel because a lot of the people who watch my channel are new people whether they be new subscribers or just people stopping in watching one video and going on about their way that's where most of my views come from so i want to figure out how i can not only gain subscribers but keep their interest and keep them watching videos on my channel 
And then it just says convert viewers into online family. So I don't just want viewers. I want them to be a part of my online community. I want them to, you know, interact with me, with each other. I just want to build a strong community. So that is my goals for the month of October. I have this little subscriber count tracker. So each day, I just want to write in how many subscribers I have for each day. All right guys, so now we have all of our goals for October written down. I'm super excited. I've challenged myself a little more this month. And with every month for this fourth quarter, I plan to challenge myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what 10 books I'm gonna read for the month of October. I don't have all of them, but I'm just gonna show you guys a few books that I wanna read for the month of October. So October is more like spooky season. So you kinda wanna change the genre of your books. But for me, I kinda like urban books. I like rough around the edges type books. And I like thrillers and mystery and crime solving types of books so let's get into it so first legend born which i think is more like a fantasy type of book but i heard it's a really good book i'm excited about that one then we have the family upstairs by lisa jewel this i believe is more like a thriller mystery type of book for october i think that is perfect and then i have Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. I love Angie Thomas books. There's not a book that I've read by her that I just did not like. I'm really going into it blind. I honestly don't even know what it's about, to be honest. So that's one that I'm just going in blind. And then we have Promise Boys by, I believe, Nick Brooks. Yeah, so Promise Boys by Nick Brooks. And this is like a thriller. Um, type of book. It is based on, I'm assuming, three boys who get accused of killing their principal. So yeah, it's gonna be one of those. It reminded me of Ace of Spades, but in a different way. So then we have Married to the Game. This is like the urban <laughs> thrill. And then I have Street Chronicles, Girls in the Game. So these are two urban books and they're more like they gonna give me like my rough around the edges type of thrill that I need. Last month was full of romance books. I mean, romance books took over my um, reading list last month. So this month I want to read some thrillers, some mystery, some more, you know, rough around the edges type books. I'm, I'm over the romance books for this month, but you know, you always go back to those. So here is my reading log and stuff that I do for my reading. So I have my little reading library and then I have the pages per month. So September, I'm at about 30 500 pages. I haven't logged all of my pages, but we're almost done. So I'll probably be at like 3,000 roughly, not even 3,500. I'm at like 3,200 or something. I don't know. Um, and then these are the books I've read. I haven't finished logging the other ones in, but I'm going to do that. And then I just give a little review on some of the books that I've read and I need to finish this as well. So yeah, um, those are the books. Let's get into my October budget. Y'all, ooh, let's talk about it. So October, October, October. So I've received some of my bills for October already and I can tell you I was not thrilled. And we're gonna get into those. I wanna keep you guys engaged with these monthly resets because they can be repetitive. So any way that I can like adjust and do different settings, then that's what I'm gonna do for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get into October. I just wanna use a color pencil, okay? It's October. Oh, my cursor sucks now. I just never write in cursive. So is that really my fault? <laughs> <laughs> my handwriting since college has gone to crap. I used to think I had good handwriting now. 
My handwriting is terrible. My expenses, which are my fixed expenses, that's what we're gonna start off with first. So my mortgage, I always list that one first. It's the most expensive one. Okay, so my mortgage, let's do electric. Ooh, y'all, that electric bill. Let's go ahead and fill these out so we can talk about it while we go. So my budget amount for my mortgage is $2,326.45. I know that is the actual. My electric bill is $175.50, y'all. Why? But no, it gets better. My water bill for this month is $199 and some change. I don't remember. I think it was like 98 cents. I've never had a water bill that was more than my electric bill until this month. That's crazy. And I'm like, oh, can y'all come do like a reread or something? They're like, oh, that's another $25. Now, if I'm calling y'all, it's obvious I can't afford this bill. So why would I add on another $25 to it? Like, be for real. So I'm not one to complain. Like, I... It's like, it is what it is. Like, I know I have to have electricity. I know I have to have water. So it's rare that I'm calling in complaining. Like, I don't ever do it. And then I know people are going to be like, well, my bill is $300 or my bill is $500. And it's just like, well, I know what my bills are normally. And this is expensive for what my bills are normally. When you go from paying $96 a month or even $50 for my electricity and you see it at this amount, it's abnormal for me, but this is crazy for me. That's all I'm saying. I know people like to test them. Okay, so then I have my phone bill, which is $55.10. I have my car insurance, which is $57.77. I have my internet, which is $55. Then we have security, alarm, whatever you want to call it. And we have two bills, one for equipment, one for the bill. We have 49 and we have 29. And then um, lawn care, I'm going to say after the first two weeks, I don't feel the need to do lawn care again. So I'm going to say $45. And then I have my HOAs, which I pay $40 a month towards my balance. Um, so when it is due, everything should be there because my HOAs is due twice a year. And I just try to pay monthly so I don't have to worry about, you know, paying all the money at once. So then we're going to do, I normally don't do my electric and my water bill here. I normally do it in my variable because they vary every month, but it's okay. It's okay. And then my gas bill, I don't know what it is because I haven't got it, but it's normally around $50 to $60 since I've obviously run in the central air and not the heat. So then we have my ink subscription, which is $1.99, which is like $2.47 with tax. I just don't be including that part on the budgeted. I should have done. Okay, so then we're going to move on to my variable expenses. I have my car registration, which I need to put another $50. And then I have my, um, I wanna do like my gas, my groceries and stuff in this section. So gas, groceries, miscellaneous home and i had a 50 dollars a week budget for groceries last month and it was an epic fail i'm just gonna be honest i'm back in the field i'm actually going to austin for work in october so i'm gonna bump that up to 200 even though it is a paid expense it's not necessarily upfront, so i have to front that money first before they reimburse me and then for my groceries, because I am going to have three days of food taken care of, actually, yeah, actually four days of food taken care of for me, I'm going to budget about the same 
I'm gonna do 250 because that $200 was a fail. Miscellaneous, I'm gonna do 100 because I'm sure we're gonna be eating out. And then for my home, I am needing some cleaning supplies and I'm needing some dish detergent. I mean, <laughs> washing detergent. So that's what we're gonna budget. Now for my debt, I did just open up a balance transfer card to transfer my debt because I'm gonna be working on paying off my debt. So hopefully by the beginning of the year, so hopefully by the beginning of the year, I can be purchasing me a new car because your girl needs one. I would really wish I could do it at the end of the year because you know, you get the end of the year sales and stuff, but I just don't think that's gonna be possible. But you never know, you never know. Um, so for my day, I drum roll, da -da 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 -da. student loans are back. Am I ready? Absolutely not. So I pay my student loans in one payment. I don't break them down because I'm not working on paying them off. Y'all are going to get the bare minimum from me until I figure out how I can get my job to pay off my student loans. So until then, bare minimum. So I heard like the first 12 months, even if you like miss the payment or you're late on the payment, it won't ding your credit. Don't quote me on that, do your own research, but I think that's so. So when I say my student loans are not priority, they're not, because in my mind, they don't exist. So minimum payment for my credit card one, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, um, is $252 and then we have, oh yeah, not the lash coming off, that's what I get, trying to be, Trying to be cute. Okay, so then we have CC2, which is 160. I promise you, paying, paying these credit cards is just like, they just keep going up. And that doesn't mean I'm scanning them. So $38 and then $91. So I am doing a balance transfer on one of my credit cards just to get it paid off quicker. So there will be no interest for the first 15 months. So I plan to have that paid off. And once I pay that one off, then I will work on the second credit card, which I don't know if I'm going to do a balance transfer. I don't really know. Like the interest rate is high since the interest rates went up. So I don't know if I want to do a balance transfer. I could, but it's like, is it going to be worth it? I don't know. So we will see, honestly, about that one. So once I have that first one paid off, though, I feel like I'll be good to go because I can put that minimum payment towards that second card and get that one paid off in no time. My student loans minimum payment is $200. Where that $200 going to come from? I don't. No, adding a whole nother bill that I have not been paying for the last three years is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So we're gonna add up all these, you guys. Hey okay, guys, so totaling up each category here, we're gonna start with our fixed expenses, adding all of these up together and bringing us to a total $3,000. $94.79 for our fixed expenses and then we're going to total our variable expenses and it's going to bring us to a total of $650 and our debt comes to a total of $741 and that brings us to a grand total of uh, $4,485.79. When I say every month it increases, every month it literally increases, but that's thanks to my student loans. And that's also thanks to my electric water bill because those two are high this month. <laughs> okay guys, so that is my monthly budget. You guys see the numbers. It's gonna be a tough month. It's gonna be a tough month. 
and it's nothing I can't handle. I'm not gonna lie, when I got that electric bill and that water bill, I was like upset. I was mad about it, and I'm just like, why are you getting yourself worked up? <laughs> why are you making yourself upset? It's gonna work itself out. It always does and I just have to maintain that attitude about a lot of things being a single income earner is scary I'm not gonna lie it's like everything is dependent upon you and what you bring in so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys oh I'm good you know I got no it's gonna be a tough month but I'm going to pull through absolutely but do I know how not necessarily but do I know with God it's possible absolutely so I'm not going to stress about it I'm not going to work myself up about it I know that I'm not the only one going through hard times right now I'm not I know I'm not the only one seeing an increase in bills and seeing you know these hard times I know I'm not the only one and I know that I'm blessed for the things that I do have but I always want to be transparent with you guys and let you know like Every month is not easy. You know, things come up, unexpected bills come up and it makes it hard. And being a single mom is scary because you always want what's best. You always want to make sure you got food on the table. You want to make sure the lights are paid, water is paid, all of that, you know. And there's like, there's no excuses. Like, I have to do this. So I'm just you know having a vulnerable moment with you guys like y'all are not alone you know if you're good that's great you know but there are many of us out here that are really feeling the burn and all i can tell you is like keep your head up don't stress yourself out yeah with that said let's talk about some intentions for this month my intentions is just to take care of me to be positive to speak positivity over my life and to do the things that i love be intentional with the information that i'm taking in be intentional with any information that i'm bringing to anyone i don't want to you know bring information that's not serving a purpose in this season of my life I want to inspire I want to uplift I want people to know that you're not alone in this journey called life we're all going through it. we're all going through our own challenges but at the end of the day some of us are going through similarities and we can help each other we can uplift each other so tell a friend to tell a friend to stop by watch this video here on my channel hopefully it motivates helps them get through whatever they're going through um, gets them organized helps them plan and reset for their month so that they can have a good month no matter how much planning you do no matter how many resets you do there are going to be months where it's hard there are going to be months where everything does not go as planned and I'm a living witness but it doesn't stop me from doing these things it doesn't stop me from wanting better for myself even though I know life is hard and some months it's even harder I still keep going because it benefits me in the end because what if I wasn't doing these resets then things could be even worse it could be even more chaotic you know it just keeps me grounded it keeps me accountable and It'll all work itself out. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the reset. If you did, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, share it, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Join the family, join the team. Let me know what type of videos you guys like to see. And I will be happy to record those videos for y'all. So yeah, bye guys.